Welcome to Best Views in Dulwich Part 2 and I'm going to take you in this video to two amazing views that didn't make the cut in Part 1. Let's begin. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Michael Thomas. I'm a London-based time-lapse architecture, cityscape and travel photographer. And on my channel, I will take you around London and show you my best places with a view of the city skyline, as well as the places that I travel to. I pretty much do the same. I go around and find the best views to shoot time-lapses from them. And occasionally I do equipment reviews that I use professionally to do what I do. Time-lapses, photography and video. So let me take you to the two amazing views around East Dulwich that I've got for you today. We're starting our walk where we left off on the previous episode when I did the best views around Dulwich and Honor Oak. The one place we couldn't get into is the Horniman Museum and particularly the gardens that offer some great views. So this is exactly where we're starting today. Yes, it's called Horniman, not Horny. Man. Jeez, you're so loud. What, why do we always go to these weird places with kids? I don't know, but it's just... Fun. Why do you pick up on these things? What's wrong with you? Um, I go to school that oh, Teenagers, eh? She's not even a teenager yet. And as I mentioned in the previous video, I have heard from many people tell me that the Horniman Museum, actually, that is a paid museum, uh, is brilliant, definitely worth going. But as it's mostly inside, I probably wouldn't recommend going there on a nice, beautiful, sunny day. Uh, so today, we're actually just exploring the garden, which is completely free and open to the public to access. But you just have to check when the garden times are um, open and just a hundred meters from the entrance gate to the gardens you reach the top of the garden and on a Sunday here there's actually a market that you can buy food and the local produce from local people and this is literally where you start seeing the beautiful vista at the top the London skyline today is looking phenomenal The best part about this park is that it's actually quite big. People come here to just chill out. However, my kids absolutely love the fact that it's like a mini zoo. It's an animal walk little area where there's llamas, goats and few other farm animals, but it was still closed due to the pandemic. And just as you reach the top of the animal park, you can see a fantastic vista towards the west of London, just above the pagoda here. Today is one of them bipolar weather kind of days. It's ridiculously beautiful and sunny, and five minutes later, it's gonna be raining. And it looks like it's gonna be raining in a moment again. When we were driving here, it rained and was sunny about three or four times. So yeah, seems like today is gonna to be one of them days. All right, finally, the rain has passed, so we can get out of hiding uh, and explore the rest of the park. So it's an interesting fact, the top of the park is actually 94 meters above sea level while some of the views right at the entrance to the sort of a market area were at 84 meters above sea level and you still get a fantastic view here beautiful views from here and just after the rain the clarity of air with the wind increased dramatically and the just the detail of the skyline even though we're quite far away from it here was stunning And once you take in all the views from the top of Horniman Gardens, definitely come down here and enjoy the actual garden because it is beautiful. Lots of benches to just chill out and yeah, spend an afternoon. Okay, 
Okay, so while now I'm waiting for my daughter to take some photos of the beautiful roses and flowers that are here, let me tell you about this setup that I'm using, which is something that I'm using for the first time. It's the GoPro Hero 8 that I borrowed from my friend Joe. So this is how the setup looks. I've got the uh, Rode wireless microphone connected to the back of the GoPro and the GoPro is sitting in the mod case uh, solely for the purpose that I can plug in an external microphone. And I've got the other part of the wireless Rode microphone in my front pocket and the lavalier is uh, underneath my shirt so that the sound of me talking is slightly bit better. And we are now off to our second location which is a little bit off the beaten path Little Park that not many people know because it's not really advertised as a famous park in London with a view but the vista from there is spectacular and in today's video apart from shooting the talking vlog part on the GoPro Hero 8 uh, all the b-roll is either with my phone in wide 1x or 2x telephoto mode and every other photo that I took was on the 500 millimeter PF lens with the Nikon Z6, which is my most favorite combo to use because everything really fits into my Peak Design messenger bag. So that's why I love using that combo. And instead of taking the main road to get where we need to get, we decided to go along the small roads to just experience also piece of quiet rather than walking to the main road, but also the beautiful houses that are along these small streets of East Dulwich. And where we're heading towards is Dawson's Hill, which is right in front of Dawson's Heights, the big brutalist estate designed in uh, 1974 by Kate McIntosh. At that time, she was a famous uh, London architect. And this is literally a brutalist design icon. The estate itself is something that I find quite interesting, but the view that's right in front of the building is literally amazing. This private residential estate has been built on top of Dawson's Hill, so it's already got an elevated view where it's based, but being at the top floor, which I had a chance to go before, uh, I think it was like something like 12th floor, the vista from there is even better. However, if you just go to the park in front of it, the view is spectacular nevertheless, and I will show you what it looks like. So this estate is made up of these two main buildings offset. So these triangles, if you look from certain places like uh, the uh, Horniman Gardens, you could see this triangular gap through which you could see through the other parts of the skyline. We're just gonna go in front of the north part of this estate, the north uh, building of um, Dawson's Heights Estate and see the view from the gardens. Not really a gardens, from Dawson's Hill, which is a tiny little park. Just in front of the uh, building, the northern building, there's actually this gate that you can walk through and get right into the top of the hill, top of the park. And once you're at the top of the park, the view here is stupendous. However, we literally walked into the middle of the storm going through the city of London. That might actually make a cool photo. Guess what? It started raining again. The vista was literally incredibly clear, almost perfect visibility. And now this layer of cloud is like making it a little bit hazy. But we're sitting here just underneath the trees, found ourselves a bench. Olivia's enjoying the view on her phone. Alex is uh, gonna be playing probably too in a moment. So we're gonna wait it out and hopefully the vista is gonna completely change once the rain stops. What a day it's been today. It is a bit windy, but the rain has stopped and I decided to put my uh, iPhone on the 2X telephoto lens on the Feutech uh, mobile vlog pocket gimbal uh, and do a motion time-lapse, moving from the left of the skyline all the way to the right. The 
The view in here is ridiculous. It's stupendous. The skyline is amazing. Lastly, why I do like this spot so much, I probably would even say that I prefer it from Hampstead Heath or Parliament Hill, because you're actually shooting with the sun, because you're south from the skyline. So the sun is behind you and it's lighting up all the buildings. While if you're going to be north in Parliament Hill or Hampstead Heath somewhere, you're going to be shooting against the sun. So everything will always be in the shade. Hence, this is amazing. It's been a while since I actually have come back here at night. So yeah, I might do that one day. And while kids are enjoying swings from the tree, let me tell you that just because it's outside of this brutalist estate, let that not scare you off because it seems like this whole area of East Dulwich is basically so gentrified that all the people hanging around in front of me in that park were basically hipsters, youngsters, teenagers, not really the kind of asbos you might think would hang out outside of an old brutalist estate. That is a myth. This is East Dulwich. The prettier area of Dulwich is on the other side of the road towards the Dulwich College, but this is still very safe. Not quite sure what it's like uh, if it's at night time and the, the sun goes down, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna still be amongst other families or just young hipsters in their 20s hanging out. So it is a pretty safe place, in my opinion at least. So if you're after a clear vista, pretty much all the way from Vauxhall to Canary Wharf, through London Eye and the city cluster, this is the spot. Being elevated around 78 meters above sea level, but the thing is that there's literally nothing obstructing you. You're on a kind of a steep hill with being above the trees. The vista is just so clear. So yeah, definitely recommend visiting this spot. On second thoughts, I don't think today I'm gonna drag the kids to do the usual kind of tailgating sometimes I do if I see a door open uh, to go to the top of that estate. But you can kind of see the pathways that are every three floors that you can go to have that view and enjoy that view. However, if I remember well, I was there around January or February with a friend and these are the photos that I took from above. It's just slightly more elevated However, it's almost similar to the ones you can get from the park below. So yeah, you're not losing out on anything if you don't go to the top of the building. And if you're entering Dawson's Heights from Dunstan's Road, there's an amazing view along Dunstan's Road with all the house on the left and right towards Canary Wharf. What a shot that is. Well, let me see if I can take it. And that's it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you found these two public parks viewpoints of the city skyline as amazing as I find them every time I revisit to take some photos from there or a time lapse. If you enjoyed this video, please also check out the part one if you haven't seen it already, where I walk through more viewpoints around East Dulwich, Dulwich, a little bit of Sydenham and on a Oak Road. And these were the last two that I kind of wanted to include in the previous video, but didn't. So yeah, had to make this part two. And if you enjoyed this part and you enjoyed a series of best views in London that I do, please leave a like, comment where you would like me to review in terms of the best viewpoints next in London and subscribe for more videos like this. And guys, I'll see you in the next one.